When God gives you lemons, you find a new God. At least, that's what I was always told growing up. If, however, you don't feel like overhauling your deistic beliefs despite an overabundance of lemons, an alternative would be to follow the American dream and sell lemonade from your very own front yard. Being a scurvy-riddled British person, growing up we didn't have such luxuries as lemons, a front yard or even dreams. No, instead we had Lemonade Tycoon for PC and PDAs. Developed by Hexacto and released in May of 2002 for PC, Palm OS, Pocket PC and later Mac OS and even iOS, Lemonade Tycoon sets you up with a small lemonade stand in a quiet suburban street and $50 to begin your lemon-based drink empire. I vividly recall playing Lemonade Tycoon back in the day through Real Arcade, a shareware platform which enabled you to download and play all manner of games for a limited time, with the option to purchase the full game through their service for a small fee. This is how we played crappy games before we had Steam. Upon launching Lemonade Tycoon, you'll be greeted with a rather simple menu. Start a new career, load a saved one, or begin a challenge if you're feeling frisky. On the right you'll find some handy statistical information from your existing saved games. Gameplay is quite simple. Configure the perfect lemonade recipe, purchase some ingredients, set your location and then click start day to see how you fare. Sounds simple enough, but with all manner of variables to keep track of like the weather, market trends and the price of your drinks, it can prove tricky to keep profits up. Once a day has begun, you can watch your virtual tycoon do their thing as potential customers walk past. You'll see a running tally of cups sold, profits and customer reactions with little thought bubbles popping up above their head if they thought the drink was either too sweet, just right or if they gave up because of long wait times or high prices. This little animation can be sped up or skipped entirely if so desired. I personally always kept these on as I found great pleasure in watching the little people whiz past. Once the day is over and you've analysed your earnings report and customer feedback from the previous day, taken note of the weather for the next day, brought new stock and made your required adjustments, you go again and again, rinse and repeat. Eventually you'll reach the point where you need to upgrade your equipment so you can serve more customers and maximise profits. With such extravagance as a lemon juicer for refilling pitchers more quickly, a kick-ass sound system for attracting customers, neon signs, fancier stand designs and more. As you progress through the game and increase your capacity to serve customers, you'll likely want to move your stand to a more lucrative area with higher traffic and more potential for sales. You can choose from such exotic locales as your local park, a train station, the beach, a theme park, a sports ball stadium and more. While the graphics aren't anything to write home about, even for the time, it's charming in its own way with just enough visual niceties to keep it interesting. The same can't be said however for the repetitive loop of music which makes my ears bleed after a few hours of gameplay. Another nice feature back in the day was the inclusion of the Lemonade Stock Exchange, or LSX, an online scoreboard which allows you to compare your stats against other players worldwide. Unfortunately, this was shut down some time ago, so no online bragging for you if you decide to play Lemonade Tycoon today. So, should you go out of your way to play Lemonade Tycoon in 2020? If you can get hold of it, I say yes. You'll have a difficult time obtaining the game officially, outside of finding a box copy second hand as none of the various retro game distribution sites have a version to download. You'll find it hosted as abandonware in a few corners of the internet, so do your own exploring. While there are a plethora of tycoon and business sim games available to choose from today, the vast majority of these games are full of ads, pay to win mechanics and other unsightly nonsense, which detracts from the simple pleasure of selling lemonade. So I say, if you can find it, I heartily recommend you give Lemonade Tycoon some love. If you'd like to see more videos where I talk nonsense about an old game or two, consider subscribing. Or follow me on Twitter if you like the tweets. 
that's all for the moment. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye.